Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jeff with the Collector Car Network, and today we're going to be taking a look at a 1967 Chevrolet convertible built by Jeff Hayes. This is a serious, serious rest of mod. But first, before we get into it, first, a quick word from our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Land Air Sea. Keep tabs on all your valuable assets from the palm of your hand. Remember, with Land Air Sea, theft is temporary. Visit LandAirSea.com to order your Land Air Sea GPS unit for your classic vehicle. So today we're going to be taking a look at a 1967 Chevrolet Corvette convertible that was built by Jeff Hayes, who of course has a shop and it's infamous specifically for building Corvettes, a lot of which are very similar to this car. So just looking at the exterior, this fantastic green metallic color is actually called Dirty Martini Green. And then we have some nice stripes that are actually in a subtly, slightly different silver green over the top of that, which is a really nice contrast. Now. On the wheels here, we have some custom shot wheels that are very nice, of course, with these uh, trying to look like knockoff wheels, but of course aren't actual knockoffs, but it, it looks really good nonetheless. It helps preserve some of that resto mod look, a bit of trying to introduce a little bit of modern while keeping the same general vintage ethos of the C2 Corvette. Now. One of the exciting parts is what's going to be what's under the hood here. So under the hood, you'll find an LS3 engine. So yes, this has a modern Chevy LS engine, which is producing 540 horsepower and you get reliable fuel injection with the really cool Corvette heads. Personally, I'm not really a fan of the standard LS valve covers. So adding something like these Corvette valve covers over top really makes the engine again, keeping it with that vintage look while getting all of your modern reliability and big horsepower numbers, 540 horses underneath there. As we move along to the uh, interior area here, this is a buttercream interior. And what I really want you to pay attention to is all of the beautiful details that goes into the dials. We have a really nice silver um, dial finish that has been kind of finished across the car that would be almost more so something you'd find at a Mercedes 300 SL. And then that's made it to a 4L80 transmission, which is of course is GM's heavy duty automatic transmission that just has a little bit more uh, oomph in terms of things like the 4L60. So. That's a pretty cool part there. Now, if you're wondering why the stance on this car looks so good, it's also because it's sitting on an Art Morrison chassis with four Willwood disc brakes on all four corners of the vehicle. So that's a really nice finish. And then as we just come around to the back, nothing too crazy back here. This is what you would expect to see from your 67 Corvette convertible. Of course, it's finished very beautifully. The shine on the actual bright work here is phenomenal. Everything just looks so smooth on this car and the paint is stunning, especially when you see this car in the sun. So this car is just phenomenal. Of course, these color combinations, like I said, very similar to some of the other cars he's done. There's been a silver blue car that's been almost identical in spec. Same thing with the aftermarket uh, custom fit shot wheels and even an LS3 with 540 horse. So not only does this thing look the part, it'll also have the performance to boot. So. If you guys are interested in finding collector vehicles like this for yourself, be sure to check out autohunter.com, which is our online auction with cars going live every single day, every single weekday. And then classiccars.com, which is our online marketplace with over 33,000 cars currently live on the site. If you enjoyed that video, go ahead and hit that like button for us. We'd really appreciate it. And get subscribed for more content in the future. Thank you so much for watching.